Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafford.com. Life need food. Dear students, you, me, plants, animals, all are living organisms. All living organisms require energy to carry out various body processes such as growth and maintenance. This energy is obtained from food. You must be knowing that plants can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. But animals on the other hand cannot make their own food. Instead, all animals depend directly or indirectly on plants for their food. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Food from Agriculture Till 10,000 BC, people were traveling in groups from place to place in search of food and shelter. They obtained raw fruits, vegetables or hunt animals for food. It was very difficult for them to gather food. To solve this problem, they started growing same type of plant at one place on a large scale. Same type of plant, for example wheat, that is grown and cultivated on large scale is called crop. Here, it is wheat crop. The practice of farming and cultivation of crop is called agriculture. As compared to age-old practices, today agricultural practices are much more improved. But still, the food production is insufficient to meet the demand of large population. And so, there is still need of improvements. Classification of crops We all know that India is a very big country. Here, from region to region, we can find different climatic conditions like temperature, humidity and rainfall. Since different crops require different climatic conditions for their growth, we can find variety of crops from region to region. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Basically, on the basis of season, we can classify crops into two cropping patterns, Kharif crops and Rabi crops. Kharif crops The crops which are sown in rainy season are called Kharif crops. In India, the rainy season is from June to September. Some of the Kharif crops are paddy, maize, soya bean, groundnut, cotton, etc. Rabi crops The crops which are sown in winter season are called Rabi crops. In India, Winter season is from October to March. Some of the rubby crops are wheat, gram, pea, mustard and linseed. Beside these two cropping patterns at many places, pulses and vegetables are also grown during the summer season. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. During crop production, farmers perform several activities in the farm over a period of time. These activities are called agricultural practices. These are preparation of soil, sowing, adding manure and fertilizers, irrigation, protecting from weeds, harvesting and storage. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. In this video, we will learn about very first step of cultivation that is preparation of soil. With the help of plough, the soil is prepared by loosening and turning it. The process of loosening and turning the soil is called 
प्लाउंग और टिलिंग इट इज डन बाई यूजिंग अ प्लाउ विच आर मेड ऑफ वुड और आयरन इन केस इफ सॉइल इज हार्ड देन वॉटरिंग इज डन बिफोर प्लाउंग टू मेक इट सॉफ्ट Plowing forms big pieces of soil called crumbs. Plank helps to break the crumbs further. Leveler helps to level the soil for sowing and irrigation purpose. Sometimes manure is added in the soil before plugging to mix it properly. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Preparation of soil is necessary to bring the nutrient rich layer at the top. It allows roots to go deep into the soil. In deep soil, loosening also helps the roots to breathe easily. In addition, the loosened soil also helps earthworms and microbes present in the soil to grow. These organisms make tunnels and further helps to loosen the soil. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. These organisms decompose the organic matter such as dead plants and animals into nutrients that plants can absorb and use. The nutrient rich organic matter present in the soil is called humus. it gives black color to the soil without these organisms humus could not be produced and so they are the true friends of farmer agricultural implements main tools used for soil preparation are the plow hoe and cultivator Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Plow. It is made of wood or iron and usually drawn by the pair of bulls or other animals. It is consist of plow share which is a strong triangular iron tip, a plow shaft, the long log of wood, handle at one end and beam at other end is placed on the bull's neck. A man can operate the plow using the pair of bulls. Ho In order to remove weeds, farmers use ho. It consists of long rod of wood or iron and a strong, broad and bent plate of iron that works like a blade. Ho is pulled by animals. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Cultivator. Tractor driven cultivators are not popular for plowing. It saves labor and time. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafer.com. The most important step in crop production is sowing. Putting seeds in the soil so that they can grow is called sowing it is the most important part of crop production for sowing farmers select good quality seeds these are the clean and healthy seeds of good variety high yielding variety seeds that is h y v seeds are the better quality than the normal quality seeds and gives higher yield higher agricultural produce Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. How can we select good quality seeds? Let's perform an activity. Selection of good seeds. So, we learned that the seeds which sink in water are of good quality and those which float are of bad quality. Now let me introduce some tools 
which are used for sewing. Traditional tools. It is a funnel shaped tool provided with two or three pipes. The pipes have sharp ends. These ends go into the soil. Seeds fill into the funnel, passes through the pipes and go deep into the soil. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Nowadays, we use more improved tool that is seed drill, which is used for sowing with the help of tractor. With this tool, it is possible to sow seeds uniformly at proper distance and depths. This tool also helps to place the soil on the seeds so that bird could not eat them. Because of machines used for sowing, lot of time and labor can be saved. Keeping distance between seeds help to avoid overcrowding of plants, which in turn allows plants to get sufficient sunlight, nutrients and water from soil. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Adding manure. Plants need nutrients for their growth. These nutrients are obtained by plants from the soil. If same crop is taken on the same land one after the other, then it reduces certain nutrients from the soil, due to which the crop production reduces. In such case, if land is left uncultivated for some time, then these can be replenished, that is, becomes available again. One more method to ensure nutrients in the soil is by adding manure. Manure is an organic substance which is obtained from decomposition of plants or animal waste. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Usually, plants and animal waste is kept in the pit at open places. Microorganisms decompose the waste and produce organic manure. Adding manure in soil is called manuring. Improper and insufficient addition of manure results in weak plants. Adding fertilizers. Another way of enriching soil with nutrients is by use of fertilizers. Fertilizers are chemical substances produced in chemical factories and are rich in particular nutrient. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. These are used to enrich soil with nutrients. For example, NPK contains nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium nutrients. Other fertilizers are urea, ammonium sulfate, superphosphate, potash, etc. Fertilizers are provided to plants by spraying or through irrigation. Using fertilizers, the production of wheat, paddy and maize is significantly improved. However, due to excessive use of fertilizers, soil become acidic or alkaline because of which soil becomes less fertile. Fertilizers also cause water pollution by entering into river water from factories or with rainwater from fields. Even though fertilizers are very rich in nutrients, but still we should encourage the use of organic manure because of many advantages over fertilizers. These are Manure provides lot of humus to the soil. It enhances water holding capacity of soil. It loosens soil so that roots can breathe easily. It increases useful microbes in the soil. And it also improves soil texture. Watch 
launch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now so it is recommended to use organic manure for crop production crop rotation there is yet another very efficient way to enrich soil with nutrients it is by crop rotation growing different crops alternately one after another in the same land is called crop rotation for example earlier farmers of north india used to grow legumes as fodder in one season and wheat in next season this helped to replenish nitrogen in the soil this method is very efficient and so we should encourage farmers to use it watch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now we all know that water is very much essential for all living organisms even in crop fields seeds can germinate only when there is availability of sufficient amount of water furthermore plants also need water for growth and development of flowers fruits and seeds watch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now along with water plant roots also absorbs essential minerals and fertilizers on an average a healthy plant contains 90% of water water containing nutrients get transported to different part of plants water present in plant also protect the plant from frost as well as from flowing hot air therefore a healthy plant require regular supply of water the supply of water to the crops at regular intervals is called irrigation the time and repetition of irrigation is different for different crops different for different soil types as well as different in different season watch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now for example in summer season due to hot climate evaporation of water through plant leaves and soil is higher and so irrigation is done more frequently however in winter season due to cold climate irrigation is not so frequent sources of irrigation various sources of irrigation are wells tube wells ponds lakes rivers dams and canals watch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now traditional methods of irrigation moat that is pulley system chain pumps dekli rahat or level system are some of the methods to bring out water from wells lakes or canals and irrigate the land these methods are based on cattle or human labor therefore these are cheaper however these are less efficient of all traditional methods pumps are most common pumps use diesel biogas electricity or solar energy as fuel modern methods of irrigation these methods are more economical and effective as compared to traditional methods sprinkler system this system consists of vertical pipes provided with rotating nozzle on the top and are joined to main pipe lines at regular intervals with the help of pump 
water is allowed to flow through these pipes under pressure. The pressure of water makes the nozzle to rotate and water is sprinkled on the crops similar to rain. It is useful if ground is not leveled or if there is insufficient quantity of water usually in sandy soil. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Drip system. With this system, irrigation is done drop by drop near the plants so that only the part of soil where roots grow is wetted. It is best suited for fruit plants, garden and trees. Due to drop by drop irrigation, there is no water wastage in this system. However, the irrigation needs to be done more frequently. This system is very useful in the regions where the availability of water is poor. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Protection from weeds. In the crop plant, along with desired crops, many other undesirable plants grow naturally. In the fields, all plants other than crop plants are called weeds. Weeds consume water, nutrient, space and light. Unavailability of all these factors affect the growth of crop. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. In addition to this, some weeds also release toxins which may damage the crop plant and are hazardous to animals and human beings. Therefore, weeds must be removed from crop lands. The removal of weeds from crop land is called weeding. Weeding must be done before flowering of crop plants. There are many ways to remove weeds or control their growth. Tilling before sowing helps to uproot and kill the weeds. Manual removal of weed is done by trowel that is khurpi or seed drill. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Some chemicals called viricides are diluted to required extent and sprayed with sprayer to control weeds. For example, 2,4-D and methacholor. These chemicals are toxic to human body and so must be handled carefully. Before spraying, nose and mouth must be covered with clean cloth or mask. Harvesting The process of cutting matured crop is called harvesting. In this process, crops are pulled out or cut close to the ground either by sickle or by harvester. Fresh crops contain moisture, so these must be dried in the sun. The separation of grain seeds from harvested crop is called threshing. It is done by thresher. There is another machine called combine, which is the combination of harvester and thresher. After separation, the stem of crop is cut into small pieces and stored as hay. It is used as fodder, that is, food for cattle. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Farmers with small holdings of land separates the grain and chaff by winnowing. 
The chaff, being lighter, flow away with the wind and fall away from the grains. Thus, grains are separated. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Storage of food grains. Once farmer obtain grains from the crop, the next task is storage. To keep the agricultural produce for a long time, it should be kept safe from moisture, insect, rats, and microorganisms. If fresh crop contains moisture, then these must be dried in sun. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. If stored without drying, microorganisms may attack on them and these may lose their germination capacity. Generally, dried food grains are stored in jute bags or metallic bins. But for large-scale storage, silos and granaries are preferred where there is good protection from rats and other insects. At home, dried neem leaves are used to store food grains. Some agencies like Food Corporation of India, that is FCI, and State Warehousing Corporations, that is SWC, offers to store food in large godowns. In big godowns, Specific chemical treatments must be done to ensure safety from microorganisms and pests. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Food from animals. Like plants, some animals also provides us with different kind of food. Cow, buffalo, she-goat, she-camel provides milk. Fish is major part of diet in coastal areas. In order to obtain food from animals, these must be provided with proper food, shelter and care. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. The rearing and caring of animals for food and other products is called animal husbandry. So I hope you understood this topic very well. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, subscribe to Learn Fatafat and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfatafat.com.